guys, so there's some random dude sitting next to me. I don't even know who he is, but I'm just kidding. Um, if you guys might notice, you might have seen this background before. We are currently hanging out in Cassandra's room, and <laughs> hi, she is like trying to photobomb everything, and uh, she introduced me to this wonderful man who I am, I wish I could marry you, but... <laughs> I can't. Which maybe. Is very unfortunate. Well, maybe one day. Yeah. Yeah, I'll it's marry good. you. I'll marry him. There's tons of benefits uh, to getting married. I was gonna marry you. Great, oh. great advice for a young. I hope we could all get married. We'll have one happy ballroom YouTube family. <laughs> this wonderful gentleman is a professional makeup artist, and today he has decided to make me look beautiful and pretty, and I love this look. It was not hard. I just used one eyeshadow and a lipstick. It's a very simple look, and my biggest problem is that I have very hooded eyes, so it's always hard for me to apply eyeshadow correctly to make sure that it actually appears on fo in photos or in, on the camera or in videos and stuff like that, so it's a bit hard. So today, he is going to demonstrate on me how to do a good, easy look. This is simple. We're only using a few eyeshadows, and we also have completed the facial look, which you guys will be able to see on his channel, which he also has a YouTube, so you need to go and subscribe to him and show him some love and support because he's amazing. So we're just going to cut straight to the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to focus on the shape of your eye and Maya has more of a hooded eye, so when you open your eyes, you can see that they fold a little bit. We want to focus on the lid and we want to make this area come out. We also want to make this not disappear, but we want to push it back a little bit so we can see the lid a little bit more. Is that like the end of the brow bone? Yeah, just right on the crease. But we're oh, not going to okay. put color right on the crease right here. We're actually mm -hmm. going to bring it out a little bit so we can widen the eyes a little bit. So first you always want to start by priming the eye. You know, if you're super new to wearing makeup, I do recommend using cream products. Just put them right on your hand and you can use that as your palette. Like an artist. Ta-da! And if you want to be a real pro, just use brushes for everything you do, even for the eye primer. I'm going to put the chin up, and just look down. I'm just going to start priming from the base of the lid all the way up. Do you prime underneath the eyes as well, or no? No, just on top. Okay. And the reason why is because some primers actually have oil-absorbing properties that can dry out your eye. And oh. your under eye area doesn't have a lot of oil glands, so you definitely don't want to dry that area. Learn something new every day. Every day, all day. We're gonna use this YSL shadow. It's number one. It's a duo. I don't think they sell this anymore. But if you find any anything that's a sh uh, shiny, shimmery color, it'd be perfect for the lid to help to bring it out. Um, this is more pinky, so it complements her undertone. You're gonna use a brush like this. It should be a little bit firmer than usual, and you're just gonna use it to press the shadow in. Mm -hmm. So put your brush right on the shadow. Mix those two colors together. And then put your chin up and look down, open your eyes, and just look down. There you go, just like that. And then we're going to press it in to the, the lid. And this way you can pack on the color. You actually want to go up a little bit on this area and form a triangle. So that way when you move, it catches the light on those angles and it makes your eyes look a lot wider. I'm going to look at the camera. There you go. Can you see how that kind of brings it to the front? And then the next color you can use can be another shimmery color. This one is by Dior. I think they do sell this one. This one's called one color, Amber Plum 965. And with the same brush, we're just going to apply that. But we're going to apply to the outer part of the lid. This just gives a little, the eye a little bit of dimension. To blend it a little bit more, you can use a crease brush and just blend those two colors in together. So with hooded eyes, you also want to be careful of using colors that are too dark or too in the medium range. You kind of want to use a lot of bright, light colors and then dark colors. You want the contrast to be really high so that we can create the most dimension for the eye. Open your eyes. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah so if you look in the camera, you can already see the difference. Open your eyes. How that already looks like it's coming forward a little bit more than the other side. Prep for Glamour by MAC with a crease brush. Just dip it in right there, swirl the brush around it, and we're just going to put it right on the crease. The best way to find your crease is just to open your eyes, look down, open your eye again, 
And I'll look straight into the camera, you can see that the eye actually catches the crease and you just want to put it right there. Okay? And you don't want to go far up because that's going to look a little bit weird. So just keep it out in the corner. Don't worry about making a big mess on the bottom of the eye because we're going to clean that up with concealer anyways. Mm -hmm. And you just want to push it sideways. So you want to avoid the inner corner crease altogether. Oh. And you actually so want to put your uh, crease color a little bit above the, your actual crease. How far out are you supposed to go for if you have a hooded eye and you do want to create some crease and dimension? You can go um, pretty far. I would stop where your brow is. So if you look in the mirror, I mean in the <laughs> camera, just right here is where you want to stop. Alright, after we have the color on, we can use a little bit of uh, lighter color just to blend out the crease and make it a little bit smokier looking. This one's Vapor by MAC. We're just putting it right up there. There you go, open your eyes. There you go, and take a look. Can you see how much lifted this eye is compared to the other one? Now we just need to define it with a little bit of darker colors. So this is where it gets a little scary. Um, so we have the, the shadows on. They look good but they don't look great because the eye um the lashes are not dark we don't have any eyeliner and that's supposed to be the darkest area on your entire face so we're going to use this eyeliner by mac called Bla black track and we're not going to use it to draw a line we're just going to use it to tight line the lash line and maybe a little bit on the lower lash too <laughs> now put chin up and then look open your eyes and look down you're going to pull your lid up and we're just going to line right by the lash line Alright, so I'm just going to use this color. This is Sketch. So it's the darkest color that we're going to use today. And we're going to use that in place of an eyeliner. And we're just going to do... I'm going to look at the camera. We're just going to do this area right here. And what this will do is then, when she opens her eye, it will just create excess dimension. And it's going to pull this up. So it's gonna, we're going to make this area disappear a little bit. So if you look in the camera right now, you can see this is what it looks like. Look in the camera. There you go. And I'm going to apply the color. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look down. We're just going to play right here. And look up. There you go. Can you see how that kind of lifts the eye a little bit? And it makes her lash look, lash line look a little higher. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom. So the bottom is a little diff different. You do want to use a little bit of eyeliner. You don't want to use a lot. And you want to stay with gold, uh, Liners that are more goldy color. This is Underground by Urban Decay. Other ones that work really well, uh, Via Appia by NARS or Black Gold by Laura Mercier. All gray colors, not too dark. Look up to the ceiling, and we're just gonna line right up here. There you go. Good to click in the camera. You can see that kind of just lines the bottom really lightly. If you have problems, with your eyeliner smudging, you can put a little bit of eye primer right under there. Not directly under the eye, but you can do it look up to the ceiling, just right here. And this should kind of absorb any excess oils. Alright, and then we're gonna go back with, um, I think it was Sketch that we use. Right under here. And we're gonna connect this area. So this area Okay, so to give the eye a little bit of lift with the hooded eyes, remember we want to keep the focus around the lash line. If you look in the camera, you can see here it dips down a little bit, and there's a little bit of a space if you follow the water line horizontally. Right? So what we want to do is kind of um, continue that line, so look up to the ceiling. You can see that I'm just continuing by using a little bit of shadow just on top of that eyeliner to kind of create a little shape right there. And that kind of makes the eye a little bit more of an almond shape. If you compare this eye to this eye, can you see how much higher this one is? Mm -hmm. So your crease color, basically, you know, where you get more dimension from the eyes is right on this corner. And that's what you want to focus on. And I'm just going to do excess blending that doesn't need to be in the video, but I'll just do it just to make it look pretty. So we're just going to use the uh, Makeup Forever White pencil to brighten the waterline, look up to the ceiling. A lot of times you have a, little, a lot of red on the waterline, so using a pencil like this helps to take that red away. If you have red eyes, it helps to open up the eye a little bit more, you know, making more space for your eyeshadow to live in, so to speak. 
And you can also bring it all the way to the light. You want to close your eyes, I also like to put it right in the middle here. Mm -hmm. To brighten the eye, very lightly. Open your eyes. Are you going to close your eyes? Mascara, we're going to use Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. This is a very dark, um, mascara. <laughs> My <cool>. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it has cold pigments on it, so it's going to help to definitely bring the attention to the front of the eye. So once we put eyeliner, you know, the darker color, the mascara, it's all going to bring the attention here, and the shadow work that you did is going to pull back, giving the eye a little bit more dimension. Wiggle and lift the brush. So we deposit, wiggle, lift, and look down. You can use the tip of the bristles of this mascara one just to give a little bit more attention to the inner corner. Um, after you put mascara on, what I like to do for hooded lashes is to use an extra amount just on the outer corner, mm. you know, to hide this area over here where the hood kind of creates itself. So what you can do too before you put, you finish your eye, you can use a little bit of um, bronzer just to define the eye area. So she has a lot of space. My has a lot of space right here between the lash line and the brow bone. We're just going to close that space off a little bit with bronzer. What this is going to do is going to make this area go back, allowing the lid to kind of come forward a little bit. Remember, you want it, we want it to be very light and blended so that people can't tell, you know, that you're contouring and creating an optical illusion of yourself. Okay, so the last step after you're done with your eyeshadow is to use a little concealer. Concealer is a good uh, tool to use. Uh, I do prefer using it right after you put your eyeshadow on because that way you can correct any parts of the eye. And kind of get rid of all the fallout, mm -hmm. right? Never used this before. <laughs> it feels so squishy and weird. <laughs> but you can also, what I like to do is you go and look at the ceiling, you put it right under here and you go like this, up. Mm. And you kind of uh, give, you kind of recreate the shape of your eyeshadow and give it a little bit more of the right shape that you're looking for. And I'm putting a little bit on the brow bone too. Oh, and another thing for the brow bone, everyone's so crazy about putting shimmery colors on the brow bone. If you have hooded eyes, don't, because it's just going to call more attention to how big your brow bone is and how much more hooded your eye mm -hmm. is. So sense. using a shimmery shadows just on the lid and is going to help And some matte on the outer corner. Yeah. Use matte. Love Some it. people, if they have their if their brow bones are crazy, not you, but if their brow bones tend to be crazy and they go out a little bit, you can actually use a darker color, maybe a bronzer, and you just kind of fill it in lightly right there to make the brow bone recede a little bit. And there you go. You can see the difference between a nice smoky eye on this side and then with no smoky eye, we gave her a little bit of the lift, some highlights. Go close your eyes, and there we go. Uh, Yay! Look down, close your eyes. She's so pretty. She's there like, you go. <laughs> awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Do you have any final words to say? Yes, it was a pleasure working with you. You're very beautiful, so don't worry. <laughs> and if you have hooded eyes, you should embrace them because just another shape. But once you have eyeshadows on, it looks very unique. So hopefully you guys found this helpful and easy enough that you can replicate at home. So go subscribe to him, as I've mentioned earlier, because we love him and he's amazing. And uh, we'll see you guys in another video. Bye.